hard drive upgrade or replacement for Mac Mini 2014. The tools we're going to need are a T6 screwdriver, TR6 security screwdriver, prying tool, and tweezers. Here's a TR6 screwdriver, which is a T6 with a hole. Let's begin by flipping over the unit and uh, hitting that like button. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and pry in with our plastic prying tool. Just get underneath and then twist it like left to right and the panel should pop right up. There are three uh, wide TR6 screws and then three small TR6 screws. This is the TR6 screwdriver. It's kind of hard to find that bit. Let's go ahead and remove those. You can't remove them with a regular T6 because that little uh, um, post in the middle of the screw blocks it from going in. So you need the special screwdriver. With those six removed, you can go ahead and start pulling up on the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna. Be careful, it's still attached to the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Uh, right here, go ahead with the T6 screwdriver, remove that screw. And then you can gently, with tweezers, go ahead and pop out the antenna and disconnect it. Now we can move this out of the way. The fan is held in with three T6 screws. Go ahead and remove those. I like to just leave them in place um, and just lift up the fan. Uh, as you lift it up, you can see it's still connected to the logic board. Carefully with tweezers, get underneath that cable and just gently pull it up. Don't be too rough with it. You can definitely rip this cable. Okay, let's remove this T6 screw. It secures the logic board to the case. It's a long screw. Now go ahead and remove this uh, uh, shorter T6 screw that uh, holds the bracket and connects the hard drive to the logic board. Once that's removed, go ahead and peel back that connection and unplug it. Now go ahead and unplug the sensors cable right here by gently going underneath it. Try to do this with a plastic tool. With that out of the way, go ahead and push down on the logic board as you're holding the case and start pulling it out. It should take a lot of resistance. Once the logic board starts coming out, go ahead and pull out that power cable uh, from the power supply and then you can just pull out the logic board it's free remove the two T6 screws that you see here one securing the hard drive uh, bracket on the left and then on the right connecting the hard drive bracket and power supply to the chassis now this is a tricky part with the power supply go ahead and pull out that little locking uh, bracket clip and just put it over to the side. You can now go ahead and spin counterclockwise uh, the uh, power supply uh, plug and then just pull it out like you see here. With the power supply out of the way, we can go ahead and just gently lift up the hard drive bracket and it should be out. As you can see here, you'll need to remove the two T6 screws on this end and two T6 screws on the other end and place your new hard drive in. Reassembly. Go ahead and place the new hard drive in uh, in the following orientation. Make sure that the left uh, T6 screw uh, aligns with that hole. Use it for guiding uh, and then the right one as well. Go ahead and uh, lift the unit up so you can see a little better and go ahead and drop that power supply in in the following orientation. Uh, this is going to uh, take some playing around and aligning it correctly. Um, if you could just work it back and forth to make sure that it's going in correctly on its rail uh, and that that little uh, T6 screw hole lines up. Now what we want to do is go ahead and twist that uh, clockwise this time. Uh, into the following orientation and then reclip it so that it doesn't move uh, and it's secured. Once that's uh, secured, go ahead and put that down and uh, go ahead and reinstall the uh, left T6 screw for the hard drive and the right T6 screw for the hard drive and power supply. 
let's reinstall the logic board go ahead slide it in in the following orientation don't push it in all the way make sure you have enough slack to plug in that power cable from the power supply this should take some playing around but you should be able to align it push it in make sure it's all the way in now go ahead and push the, the clips in on the sides and make sure to push the logic board in all the way once you got the power cable hooked up uh, keep pushing it in you might feel some resistance you might have to pick the case up a little bit and then push it in where you feel the resistance and it should be able to go right in like so reconnect that sensor cable right there by pushing it into its socket reconnect the hard drive make sure that's in and clicked in all the way once that's firmly in and secure go ahead and put that bracket back over it go ahead and secure that bracket with that t6 screw that bracket keeps it from popping out next let's uh screw in that post that holds the logic board to the case now the uh, fan go ahead and uh, put it over the socket apply some pressure with your finger to click it in align it go ahead put that long screw in on the bottom and go ahead and secure those three t6 screws um, you can do it with your finger too to get it started with those three secure let's go ahead and reattach the Wi-Fi antenna go ahead and uh, align it with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card and go ahead guide it in and make sure it pops in nice and firm into that socket just kind of twist it in and align that uh, little uh, retainer uh, hole because we're gonna need to secure this last T6 screw right there and then let's just go ahead and tug that cable in a little bit align the Wi-Fi uh, uh, antenna cover and let's secure the three uh, wider longer post screws uh, first these are the TR6 screws with that little safety in the middle and then the other three smaller TR6 screws with those connected we can go ahead and place back the cover make sure to align the cover holes with the longer uh, TR6 screws and then clip it into place and now you can flip the unit back over and we're done